Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Japandy, I'm going to give you the state of the Andy Japandy channel coming up. All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome to a brand new episode of Andy Talks Japandy. Today's episode, guys, I'm going to be giving you the state of the Andy Japandy channel moving forward into 2020. Now, I was originally going to do this on my personal channel, The Andy Sun, but I figured since pretty much the majority, if not all, of the updates involved this channel, I decided to just post it here instead. It could have come at a better time because today, December 7th, 2019, woo, is my 34th birthday. So I'm out here at Walmart, where else? <laughs> and uh, I got myself some uh, little birthday presents. Nothing too special, but. Uh, Pretty cool. So let's try them on, shall we? Got myself some new glasses. I really love these ones. They have a nice little metal frame and they snap pretty uh, snugly over uh, my regular glasses so I can still drive and see even when it's all nice and bright out. But wait, there's more. I even got some ones with the chunky frames. So I couldn't decide between the two. So I decided to just get both and I had a little bit of birthday money. So why not, right? So, yeah, let's get the uh, the blue ones back on, though, shall we? Yeah, that's better. I do like the chunky frame ones, though. But uh, yeah, decided to get a couple sunglasses because, as much as I love my uh, my chunky white frame ones, as you can tell from some of the videos, uh, they got scratch marks and stuff on them, and they're just cheap glasses. So you know the hinges and stuff are a little loose, and I've been tightening them, and you know it's whatever <laughs> they've served their purpose so i decided to get uh, some more sunglasses instead so yeah um so yeah like i said today is my birthday the old three four today and so on my birthday i've decided to announce that in 2020 moving forward once i move back to tokyo in a few weeks now actually uh that date is fast approaching um i've decided to take the gary v challenge now what is the Gary V challenge? Well, uh, for those who don't know, Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, is uh, somebody I've been following for over a decade at this point. I've been following him since his Wine Library TV days, so around 2007, 2008 ish. It wasn't until a few years ago that I decided to actually put his advice into practice as it relates to uh, what I do here on YouTube and elsewhere. So I've decided that once I move back to uh, Tokyo, Japan, in a few weeks, like I said, I'm going to be taking the Gary Vee challenge and that is putting out content at scale. Now, the big disclaimer here is that I'm going out to Tokyo to study abroad, be going to school, going to college. I might not be able to put out 100 pieces of content a day, which is what Gary ideally wants people to do. But that being said, I am going to take the practices that he listed in his like super awesome uh, promo deck and outlined his whole content creation process and everything. I am going to be taking those in the deck and making more content, especially since I'm out in Japan. I don't really have any excuses to just stay inside my apartment or my house or wherever uh, like I did here in America for the past four years. I think uh, my time of solitude, isolation, confinement, whatever you want to call it, is done. And it's time for me to uh, get my hustle boots on and uh, get to work. So we been producing a lot of content, not just for YouTube, also for TikTok. Those are going to be the main two platforms I make content for. But I'm also going to be pushing more stuff out on Instagram, both in Instagram stories as well as more pictures. Because I'll actually be making more pictures of Japan rather than just uploading throwbacks from like five, six years ago <laughs> at this point. So I'll be posting a lot more current pictures of Japan on there. Um, as far as Twitter goes, that's just kind of my funsies sort of place to go. And, uh, you know, if I was just counting Twitter content alone, I could probably reach 100 pieces of content a day easily. Because uh, what can I say? I like a lot of stuff on Twitter. So it's pretty easy to get those uh, 100 pieces of content <laughs> doing all the retweets and all those kinds of stuff. But in any event, I am going to get a lot more serious about my content creation once I move out to Japan. I know I've been talking a big game pretty much ever since I left the country. But uh, seeing Gary put out this new deck and putting out the Gary V Challenge, 
is uh, really lighting a fire under my ass. And I want to show people just what you can do out in Japan. And I'm most excited to show people on TikTok more of Japan because I think that that's a very wide open field. It's a, a blue ocean, as it were, in business terms, as far as、uh, opportunities for presenting content out there. Because, you know, I felt like with YouTube, it's oversaturated at this point, but it's,、uh, it's my main content home. It's been my home since 2006. So, you know, I don't feel like leaving it anytime soon. But I do want to branch out to other platforms and see what's going on from there. And I'm most excited about branching off more into TikTok.、Um, I've been spending the past month and a half, going on two months, just you know, learning the platform, kind of putting out some low effort content, you know, just kind of bits and pieces of the day in my life, different anime I'm watching, stuff like that. And that's mostly just to experiment, see what's good, what's not, and just to mostly just learn the platform. So. Once I get out to Japan, I'm gonna be putting out a lot more like Japan centric content. So, showing off different parts of Tokyo and stuff like that, and doing cool little B roll montages and whatnot, and you know, doing stuff like that. So, yeah, I just have a whole slew of different ideas as far as content production and side hustles and all that kind of stuff. And I definitely wanna get more into those、um, once I get out to Japan and start. You know, putting boots on the ground and actually doing them because I don't want to just sit here and talk about all the side hustles and stuff I want to do in Japan without actually having done them in Japan. Guys, I'll probably learn a lot more、uh, in the process of doing versus just telling you guys. But, point being, you can expect a whole slew of quality Japan content moving forward from the Andy San s a m a d e s h t a And、uh, just a little disclaimer, I probably should have put this at the beginning, but、uh, I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments in this video or maybe some messages or something like that saying, well, Andy, since you're going over on a student visa, shouldn't you focus primarily on school and getting that out of the way? And you're right, 100% right. So before I do any of this other content creation stuff, I'm gonna make sure homework and all that kind of stuff is squared away. But once homework is done, And all that kinds of stuff. The rest of that time is content creation time, dude. So, you know, if it takes me two to three hours at most to get my homework done, that's plenty of time to get out there and make stuff or put together stuff or get in touch with some people, see if they want to do some collabs or see if they need something put together themselves, you know? Because in addition to being a YouTuber, TikToker, content creator, whatever buzzword, That you know, you want to apply to me.、Um, I'm also a video editor, too, and that's、uh, my main trade, my main,、uh, my main hustle, as it were. So, I definitely want to do more of that and、uh, collab with a lot of people out there. A lot of my friends definitely want to get out there and、uh, do my thing with. So, anyway, guys, this car is getting all kinds of stuffed up. You can see like the fog. For me talking in here. So it's getting pretty hot and steamy in here from all this、uh, content creation. So、uh, gonna head out here, enjoy myself on my 34th birthday. Ultimately, guys, I'm just so fucking happy that I get this chance to live in Japan again, but on my terms and nobody else's. And、uh, I, just, I just really wanna make this time count, you know? Because I felt like when I was in Yokosuka, You know, I felt like、uh, I, I couldn't really do a lot of what I wanted to do as far as making videos.、Um, looking back, and especially considering the work schedule I had at the time, I was, you know, surprised I even got anything out at all. Now that I don't have to worry about those 12 to 15 hour work days in the Navy and alcohol cur curtailment restrictions, liberty restrictions, whatever else, or getting underway at a moment's notice. Um, I can focus much, much more on making that quality Japan content. So, with that said, guys, this is the Andy Sun. Sign up for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.